But he was chopping that tree down, chopping that tree down, chopping that tree down. Because he told the dogs, you know, if you tree a coon, I, I take it from there. So he's trying to get the tree down so he can get the, get the coon out the tree. And so uh, it, it was, you know, late into the night. <laughs> and his mom and dad were looking for him, trying to figure out where he was at. And uh, they went out there into the woods. And they found him out there, chopping that tree with that little axe, trying to get that, get that coon out the tree. Hands were all blistered and bloody and everything. And his mama said, boy, you better get on back to this house. And uh, he was like, no, nah, ma. I told the dogs, if they tree a coon, I'll take it from there. And so he, his mama said, uh, boy, I will spank you. I'll spank you. Get back in the house. And uh, the boy said, uh, mama, you got to do what you got to do. You know, okay. I told these coons. I mean, I told I told these dogs, if you tree a coon, I'll take it from there. And so he was willing to get a spanking. And, and, and the daddy was standing back, you know, looking at him like, okay, he's a man. And so he, you know, grabbed the mama and uh, told her to go back home. And uh, <clears throat> they brought the boy a sandwich. And, and the daddy went and got his axe, a real axe, <laughs> and gave it to the boy. <clears throat> and they left him out in the woods and let, let him be, become a man. He kept on chopping that tree, kept on chopping that tree. And he got to the point, you know, about halfway through where he couldn't go anymore, you know. And uh, he looked up to the sky and he said, Lord, I told these dogs that if they tree a coon, I take it from there, and uh, but he was like, Lord, I, I I can't chop it anymore. Like my hands all blistered and bloody, I can't go anymore. But I want to be a man of my word. And he looked up and he just prayed and he said, Lord, help me. And uh, as soon as he said that, a gust of wind came and blew the tree down, <laughs> and the dogs were able to get the coon. I hate your farms, all about God. As y'all can tell, we're not at the farm today. We're up at, uh, let's see, Tractor Supply. And I'm picking up my fencing material. Got the truck back here, hooked up to the trailer. And I'm just waiting, I already paid for everything. I'm just waiting for the guy to come out and help me get everything loaded. And uh, we're getting all of our farm gates and all of our fencing and T-posting and everything so that we can get started getting these pastures fenced off. So uh, yeah, fun times. So, tomorrow, early in the morning before the sun comes up. Uh, we'll be up pounding t posts into the ground and getting the rest of the fencing up so we can uh, get our sheep and the rest of our animals back on pasture and get them out of those little feed lot pens. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it because in June, we're going to be adding about probably about 15, 20 head of sheep to our herd. And uh, it's exciting times. There's a lot going on on the farm, a lot of fruitfulness. And uh, the Lord is rewarding us for our obedience over the last 10 years. So there's a lot of amazing, a lot of amazing things going on. So y'all just stay tuned. Let's get these things loaded up and head on back to the farm. Alright y'all, we're loaded and uh, we got everything we need to get our fencing done tomorrow. Most of tomorrow I'll just be pounding T-posts. So I'll probably get up, you know, early in the morning, start pounding T-posts. And uh, hopefully by, what today is, today is Monday, tomorrow is Tuesday. So hopefully by Wednesday, we'll, uh, you know, uh, start stretching some fence. And uh, we also have a septic installer that's coming that'll be here over those next couple of days. So it's going to be a lot going on on the farm. So uh, it's going to be a fun time. So. I have to see y'all tomorrow, and uh, we'll try to get some fencing done, and we'll also get some video of the septic installers. So IG Farms, all about God. All right, y'all. Y'all see, we got our fencing on the trailer back here on the farm. We're not at Tractor Supply anymore. <laughs> it's early in the morning. Me and the boys just got done farm chores. 
And uh, we also got this pink line put up here so we can get our T-post pound into the ground. We got a lot going on today. It's gonna be a long, fun farm day today. Got a lot going on. And uh, I'm gonna show you, take y'all up here and show y'all what we got up at the top of the property. So we got fencing going on. And then we're gonna, we're gonna hyper speed from here up to the top of the property. And I'm gonna show y'all what's up there. All right, y'all, we're at the top of the property now. And as you can see behind me, there's an excavator here. And those are not ours. <laughs> we're just hiring work out today. So we got fencing going on. And uh, we're also gonna be putting in, installing our septic today. And uh, yeah, after we get septic installed, we'll be able to get our permit and get power. And so uh, this process, <laughs> it may seem like it's going slow uh, on video, but uh, it's going super fast for us in person. There's a lot going on, a lot to maintain and be a steward over. And so uh, we're just trying to be as faithful as we can over every dollar and every uh, provision that the Lord gives us and make good, wise decisions. And uh, we also, probably either today or tomorrow, we'll be getting about five or six loads of, of big rock on this driveway. And so we have a nice, uh, good-looking driveway. What you got, Tim? Rocks. Yeah, not the small ones. We, 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 we had the small ones already. The small ones just washed away. Bigger than that. It's going to be bigger than that, boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we should be getting some big rock on this driveway. It'll be funny if he, if, if he shows up. What you got, no? That's a little bit bigger, but even bigger than that, no. <laughs> but yeah, it'd be funny if the rock man show up today, if the dump truck guy shows up today as well. So we have fencing going on. We will have a dump truck and <laughs> bringing loads of dirt that I need to, loads of rock that I need to smooth out with the tractor. He's going to mostly, uh, you know, uh, lay it for us. You know, he's going to kind of set the, the, the release on the uh, back of the dump truck. And, uh, you know, just kind of, uh, you know, let the rock out the back of it. So, because it's hard to move rock like that, you know, with a tractor and with a box blade. So, hopefully, he's able to get it pretty pretty smooth for us going through. He's just going to drive in and let the rock come out slowly as he goes through. But, anyway, y'all, there's, there's a lot of work to do today, so I can't talk too much. So, uh, we'll pick y'all up later when everything gets to popping off. And I'm going to go ahead and start getting some T-posts pounded in the ground. But, y'all, just follow us along today for this journey. It's IG Farms. It's all about God. We just got the truck crunk up and we are ready for this fencing project, y'all. So our sheep really, really need to be on pasture, but we need to be able to fence off these pastures that we prepare for them. And now that we have the provisions and we already had the vision, now we just need to put our face to it and do the work, put our face to the fire and do the work. So the boys are prepared. This is going to be a boys fencing project and I'm going to be on the camera. So Tim Jr. is going to throw the T-post off every 10 feet. And Tim Sr. is going to be driving the truck and the trailer. And um, Titus and Noah are going to be Tim Jr.'s assistants. <laughs> and so they'll mostly sit down, but they'll assist Tim in any way that they can. So we're going to get this fencing project started. And it's going to be, I think, a long, fun... <laughs>
we're finally being able to get this fixing project done. It's really been a long time coming because uh, if you've seen our Slaying Goliath series, these posts that we put in the ground, like we work from sun up to sundown to get these um basically to start the fencing to get the holes in um for the uh, h braces to even begin this project so this began like years ago you know at least a year ago and uh we're now getting to that point where we can complete it yeah tim was on the tractor actually the track caught fire and you know it's been a long time coming we have a new tractor now so the lord has just shifted us into this new season and now we're able to actually um come to the end of this race like that's what it's been like this and it, it hadn't been like a race like a fast race like uh tim said before the um race is not given to the swift you know so it hadn't been this race like do it all you know we tease about that and say, get her all done, you know, like like we're working as hard as we can, which we are, but we're not working just as fast as we can. We have to like really hear from the Lord, sit, soak in, know what we're supposed to work on, when. That's extremely important, knowing what to work on, when. And uh, the Lord, actually, we were going, dude, we got to do fencing, we got to do fencing because of our sheep. But the Lord was like, no, finish the camper. And so now that we're, you know, almost to that point of completion on the camper, he's released us to work on fencing. So I'm excited. I really think we're going to be able to um, finish up pretty quickly. Like they're putting these T-posts in the ground. We hadn't been out here for like, what, maybe 15 minutes. And so, yeah. They're, they're making quick work of it, and all we'll have to do then is just stretch some fits. Sounds simple, huh? <laughs> it's not as, you know, easy <laughs> as it may seem, but um, we're going to get it done because the Lord is on our side, and we know we'll be able to accomplish the things that he desires us to accomplish. I just saw a snake in this ditch just yesterday, so I'm having a conversation with him, letting him know that I'm not here to bother him. He was just a black racer, non-venomous. Non but I told him, I said, tell all your rattlesnake and water moccasin friends that I'm not here to bother them either. <laughs> I'm just trying to get some work done. <laughs> get it done. That's going to end up on a t-shirt somewhere. <laughs> get it done. Listen, with our subscribers... <laughs> it definitely will be. We, we can't say that too loud. Part <laughs> the process. We're going to do something special with these uh, the tips of these poles for some lights or something on them. Because like, <laughs> it goes down our driveway. And every time you drive in, you're going to be driving down this fence line. You gotta make sure it look pretty. Plant some uh some type of like growing uh you know like viney plant or something. Or like some red, like some rose. Yeah, some flowers, right? Red ferns, yeah. You getting it, Tim? You see what I'm saying? Well, we definitely have some ferns in the uh, woodlands. Yeah. Yeah. Red. Mm -hmm. Are ferns? Even, is that just the movie or? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's just the movie or what, but I know that we have ferns. If y'all had never seen, we're not advertised. We're not a sponsor by that movie, but <laughs> if y'all had never seen where the red fern grows, you need to watch it. It's a part of the movie where uh, the, the little boy, you know, he wants some coon dogs, and so uh, he saved his money up, worked hard, worked extra, and bought two coon dogs. And when he got those dogs, he told him, he said, uh, "If you ever tree a coon, I'll make sure I get that coon out the tree." I chopped that tree down. He said, so you treat a coon. He's looking at the dogs, you know, having an intimate conversation. And he said, you treat a coon, and I'll take it from there. And so those dogs on that first hunt, they went out there and treated a coon. But they, they treated a coon in the biggest oak tree you ever seen. <laughs> it was like a hundred-year-old oak tree. And so he had this little, little axe in his hand. And he said, all right, dogs, I, uh, I got to be a man of my word. And the boy was only, you know, 10 years old. And he was like, uh, you know, I got to be a man of my word. I told y'all, if y'all treat a coon, I'll I take it from there. And so he got out there, you know, took his little satchel off, book sack off, and uh, he started 
with that little axe, little hand axe. You know, that wasn't even made for chopping down trees, just little bushes. But he was chopping that tree down, chopping that tree down, chopping that tree down, because he told the dogs, you know, if you tree a coon, I, I take it from there. So he's trying to get the tree down so he can get the, get the coon out the tree. And so uh, it, it was, you know, late into the night, <laughs> and his mom and dad were looking for him, trying to figure out where he was at. And uh, they went out there into the woods, and they found him out there, chopping that tree with that little axe, trying to get that, get that coon out the tree. Hands were all blistered and bloody and everything. And his mama said, boy, you better get on back to this house. And uh, he was like, no, nah, ma. I told the dogs, if they tree a coon, i take it from there. And so he, his mama said, uh, boy, I will spank you. I'll spank you. Get back in the house. And uh, the boy said, uh, mama, you got to do what you got to do. You know, I told these coons. I mean, I told I told these dogs, if you tree a coon, i take it from there. And so he was willing to get a spanking. And, and the daddy was standing back, you know, looking at him like, okay, he's a man. And so he, you know, grabbed the mama and uh, told her to go back home. And uh, <clears throat> they brought the boy a sandwich. And, and the daddy went and got his axe, a real axe, <laughs> and gave it to the boy. <clears throat> and they left him out in the woods and let, let him be, become a man. He kept on chopping that tree, kept on chopping that tree. And he got to the point, you know, about halfway through where he couldn't go anymore, you know. And uh, he looked up to the sky and he said, Lord, I told these dogs that if they tree a coon, I'd take it from there. And uh, But he was like, Lord, I, I, I can't chop it anymore. Like My hands are all blistered and bloody. I can't go anymore. But I want to be a man of my word. And he looked up and he just prayed and he said, Lord, help me. And uh, as soon as he said that, a gust of wind came and blew the tree down. <laughs> and the dogs were able to get the coon. So if you haven't seen that movie, go watch it. It's a good one. I watched it over and over mm -hmm. and over. You know, A man should be like the most valuable thing a man has is his faith and his word. You know, if you ain't got faith and you ain't got your word where people can like shake your hand and, and, and know that you're going to do what you said you were going to do, it's, it's hard for me to label you as a man. I'm sorry. All right, y'all. Today is a little bit of fencing, a little bit of... <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't even talk. Today is a little bit of fencing and a little bit of septic. And the septic tank people have arrived. So it's about to pop off, y'all. Let's see what we're going to get into today. <laughs> I gotta get to work because uh, they, they need some water back here to put around the tank and to fill the tank up, I believe. So I'm gonna get this uh, 275 gallon water tank filled up. So I, <laughs> they finally asked me to do something. <laughs> I'm excited.
All right, so let me explain to y'all what's going on here. I don't know if you've ever seen a septic system installed like this, but uh, we, <clears throat> with the type of grounds we got, the area we in, we had to install an advanced septic system. And so it has, you know, multiple tanks and filters, and by the time the water comes out, it's like <laughs> almost drinkable water. But uh, it comes down just normally, down into your tank here. You know, you have two chambers off in the tank. First chamber second chamber and it comes out and it has this pipe here because this is called a spray system it doesn't just roll straight out but it comes out into these different chambers and each chamber you know uh, disperses the waters to different areas and so every now and then these little heads are gonna pop up and then uh, spray out in the little area and so it's gonna go all the way around and we eventually get this pile here moved. But it's gonna go all the way around to here and go out to different ways, multiple different ways, and then spray out. So that's kind of what I see going on now. Is them installing these these sprayer heads all around these different sections going through to make that spray system. All right, y'all, so they have all the sprinkler heads down, down there. And uh, I think they're getting everything covered up now. And now we got the water tank back there filling up the system here. And then they're gonna test everything to ensure that everything is working properly. And so they're getting all, getting all the wiring and everything hooked up now and uh, getting it filled up. And then we're gonna test everything and see if everything works properly. Welcome back. A lot has happened since y'all been gone. Oh, he sent us on errands, so we missed all the action. The boys are so upset they didn't get to see the septic tank go in the ground. It's all right, boys. Look how sad they are. Oh, yeah, it's all good, boys. It's all right. Got, got do you. Sometimes you have to learn, like as a man, sometimes you have to handle business. All right? Y'all right. handle business. Y'all did an important job, hey. boys. And right. they got uh, suckers. Exactly. The, uh, bank. <laughs> yep, good. See? Y'all going over to take a look at it? Yes. See what y'all think. Yeah, 
we got we, we got we got a whole septic system. We don't just have a septic tank. We have like sprinkler heads. We have an advanced septic system. We got wires. What y'all think? Where our exactly. That's the good thing about us doing the install, you know. Like we know exactly where every little pipe is at. All right, so boys. Until we forget over the years uh -huh. and be like, was it over here? <laughs> boys, y'all lock in and remember this, okay? Yep. What y'all think, boys? What you think, Tim? Good. What you think, Todd? Good. Is that concrete? Oh yeah, it's concrete. Uh huh. Yeah. They're covering everything up now and hooking up all the wires and everything. That's a better septic system than we could have ever Oh, yeah. Done. Yeah. We not, there's no way we could have did that. I said they gave me something to do. Go get some water. Yeah, get out of the way. <laughs> that, that, that what she said. Y'all just wanted me to get out of the way. I know y'all were like, uh, will he go somewhere with that camera? Right. <laughs> I can help backfill it. <laughs> like, get out of the way. Bro. All right. <laughs> he acts like an old man. Y'all was talking about my granddaddy's name. That's right. <laughs> so we're back in time at least to see the septic tank before it got covered up. And the boys are disappointed we missed a lot of the action, but... At the end of the day, we were able to do some things in town that we needed to do and still see this beautiful septic tank being put in. So it's a win, 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 win. <laughs> All the way around. Now go on over there. Be careful. <laughs> oh, hide in the septic tank. I don't know how that was going. Well, we're gonna put it off in that white pipe right there. Okay, cool. Don't fall in. They ain't gonna fall in. I got you. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Mm hmm. All right, spraying. It's spraying, boys. Look at All right, so now y'all out there testing the spray heads. And uh, they getting them set and everything to spray out how they want them to. Sucked on down like an alien. Uh-huh. Yeah, like when it was done, it sucked back down and just disappeared. <laughs> so yeah, once it's done, it has like a float. That's, that's inside of the tank over there behind the mobile home behind Emma and uh, when that float gets to a certain point it releases uh, the water through the pipes through the, through, through the treatment system and then once the once the chambers in the treatment system get full then it comes out to these sprinkler heads and it pushes them up it has a uh, you know it has electricity that's ran to it and the electricity push, pushes these things up and then it sprays out the amount of water to get it back down below that float and that's that's how the system works. Yep, so I love it, I love it. Got our septic system installed. I'll take care now. All right, y'all, the septic installers just left. They got everything installed and set up. I'm gonna walk y'all over here and just kind of show y'all the finished product. And then we'll walk down and show y'all what we got done on fencing, which is not much today. <laughs> we had to oversee the septic team, the septic guys. But we'll show y'all the septic tank, the, the finished product, and then we'll go down and look at what we got done on fencing and we end today's video. So here we go. Here we go. We got out. We have our advanced septic system hooked up. <clears throat> yeah, got the sprinkle system. And uh, as you see, they have everything backfilled. Have a little little spot right here for a clean out. 
something right there. I don't, I don't know what's going on, so I don't, don't. I don't need to be explaining it. Explain it to him, man. <laughs> um, I know even less than you do. <laughs> we I just guess that's the negative part of not doing everything yourself. Oh uh, yeah. Nah, that's that's uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. tanks that they have. Those green things are the green things. The opening things that they put on top. Uh oh, yeah. clear, clear, clearly we need yeah, to contract the, out more work. The tops. <laughs> the tops. Wait, you, you know the technical technical names for it, Ty? The, uh, the tops. Mm -hmm. Top is better than green thing. Oh yeah, the tops. But anyway, it's a chamber here. Yeah. Then there's a chamber here, and then the septic, you know, flows on the ground into the tank. It drops down into this first chamber. And then once that chamber gets full, it drops into the second chamber. And then there's a pump or in a float. And once that second chamber gets to a certain point, that, that pump and that float activates the leach fill, the sprinkler system. And it goes out here into these chambers. And then it shoots it out here. And once it gets shot out here, these sprinkler heads, they shoot up. And they spin slowly and spray out slowly. That, is that what's trying to come up? Yeah, it's still in the ground. But yeah, they they, they shoot up as y'all saw in the video, and then they spray and sprinkle out the uh, the treated the water out on the property. But that's pretty much it, y'all. On that that part, let's walk down here and see what we got done on fencing. I might start pounding some more T posts today, but I need to take a break because it's, it's hard work walking around and recording other people working. Where's Megan? <laughs> Where's she doing? Why why is she hiding behind me? I wasn't hiding behind y'all, just on the other side of it. <laughs> I guess. It's hard work recording <laughs> other people work. Running around trying to get the right camera angles and not get hit upside the head with an excavator boom. Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> I told Megan that I got to get me one of those excavators. Uh, I don't need a very, very big one, you know, but just a small one. And uh, <laughs> what's fun? <laughs> I told Megan, hey, give me one of them excavators. <laughs> what's she laughing like, at? You know, uh, I don't know, like a, a bag of chips or something. Yeah, for real. Now, give me one of them. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that 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 would you know be able to help me so much around the property and even just in the future, you know. Uh, Tyus, if you don't start walking in front of us, get on to the side, buddy. <clears throat> but even in the future, when we get our sawmill doing work on the woodlands and different things like that, because I've seen the septic tank installed now. Now oh, I can yeah. now I can do it. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, you, sometimes you have to pay. What do they say? Uh, Stupid tax or something on them. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, yeah. But 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 you have to pay for you know not to knowing learn, how to do, to yeah, learn, learn right. But now I've seen it done. So once I, once I've seen it done one time, you know now I, I can do the whole system myself. I keep paying the stupid tax. <laughs> he can pay the stupid tax one time and mm. learn. I just you know keep paying it over and over and over. <laughs> for all the other things that I can't yeah. do. <laughs> mm, nobody touch the pink line, please. All right, let's turn y'all around and show y'all what we got done on the fencing today. It looks so good being able to see it for the first time today because mm -hmm. I just, you know, we've been going back and forth. <laughs> yeah. It's looking good. We have, how many T-posts is that, boys? Count those T-posts, homeschool. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We got homeschool. Count them T-posts. This might take a while. Because they're, they're competing. <laughs> Go, just walk, walk it. Keep walking. Run, matter of fact, actually run. And watch out for them rattlesnakes. <laughs> nine. All right, y'all. So we have nine T posts in the ground so far. And it's looking good, looking good. We have a trailer full of fencing material over there that needs to get put up within the next couple of days. So I I love it, I love it. And uh, there's going to be farm gates there. We actually found out that the company that did our septic tank, they actually, uh, you know can do our water line as well because you all know that we got to bring water lines all the way from the front of the property all the way back to emma back here and we also want to have uh <clears throat> uh water spigots at each farm gate opening and so we're gonna have three farm gate openings on this uh two two and a half three acre pa uh, pasture fencing setup and so i want to have a sprinkler head at each not sprinkler head uh uh Hose. A hose bib, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. at each, you know, around each farm gate, you know, to be able to have water going to each paddock because eventually we're going to do cross fencing. Right now we're just fencing off the uh, perimeter and eventually we're going to do cross fencing and I want to have water access in each, you know, paddock. And I, I'm a, I'm thinking that there's going to be three paddocks, three, maybe four paddocks within this uh, pasture fencing, two or two and a half, three acre pad, uh, system 
here. So, uh, yeah, we might be getting that, that company to come back and actually run our water line spores back to him and also run, you know, teas to those uh, hose spigots, you know, at each each pasture uh, section. So, fun times, fun times, y'all. There's a lot of work going on around here. And, uh, you know, we're just excited that we get to, get to be a part of it, you yes. know, because the Lord is doing amazing things, mm -hmm. you know, and he's... I, I wouldn't even necessarily say he's rewarding us for our faith because we hadn't been faithful enough, you know, to be fully pleasing to him just within our own efforts. You know, it's all about what God has done for us and what he chooses to do for us. You know, he forgives us in the areas where we need to be forgiven. And, um, you know, he just. We obey him as best we can. And then in those areas where we disobey him, you know, he's faithful and just you know, to forgive us of our sins and to, to not reward us according to our sins, but, but to not look at our sins, but to, but to just look at our faithfulness. So it's amazing. It's amazing. But I'm, we're going to go ahead and end today's video here. Like I said, I might get, get started back pounding some T-posts. I got probably about two, three days worth of T-post pounding <laughs> to do before I start, start stretching fence. And uh, hopefully we can get these water lines ran back there. And uh, we should be able to pass our final inspection now on, on Emma and get power pretty soon so a lot of amazing things going on y'all but uh we're gonna end today's video here it's ig farms we'll see y'all on the next one